Hello everyone. Welcome to Clinical Knowledge and Medicine. Today we will talk about acne, which is also known as acne vulgaris. Around 85 to 90% of population suffer from acne once in their lifetime. So, we will start with the pathogenesis of acne. The cause of acne so first reason is increased androgen production second decrease in linoleic acid now the factors due to these factors which are mentioned above there will be hyper proliferation of keratinocytes in sebaceous glands and due to this hyper proliferation there will be blockage of these duct which will result in increased sebum production now due to this sebum production which is known as seborrhea and this increased sebum is a good culture media for bacteria so due to this there will be production of the bacteria which is propionum bacterium acne now if we talk about the clinical features of the acne we can see these three figures here in which you can see these are polymorphic in nature and when epithelial lining is disrupted there will be production of blackheads or known as comedones because the keratinocyte present on these gland will start oxidizing which will result in blackheads where on the other side due to the intact epithelium they will appear white in nature and after these comedones the second grade of the stage acne are papules and after the papule formation the third grade will be postural formation now the last stage is the fourth and most severe form of acne are seen in this stage which is known as nodulocystic acne where there will be inflammation so after grading of these acne the treatment of acne are in the normal comedone formation there will be use of topical retinoids and alternatively salicylic acid can be also used so in the second stage papular or pustular formation topical retinoids are added with topical antimicrobial can be given doxycycline all topical antimicrobial agent and topical retinoids alternatively can also be given in the third stage papular or pustular formation oral antibiotics topical retinoids and benzoyl peroxide can be added now in the nodular the fourth stage these two are the most severe forms in which oral antibiotics are added with topical retinoid with or without benzoyl peroxide and in the last oral isoretinoin which is a retinoid is used but this systemic retinoids which are isoretinoin cannot be given 
during pregnancy because this is teratogenic in nature so whenever a female is pregnant it is advised not to give this drug due to its teratogenicity and for this the female is advised to stop the drug 3 months prior Three months prior of the delivery or getting pregnant. So this is all about the acne vulgaris. Thank you.